So guess what? I've found another one of these, an MX330 from Matsura, installed here in the UK at AC Precision. Uh, we're going to find out what Tony thinks about his purchase. Tony, you're the owner of AC Precision. You purchased this machine a year ago. Um, talk to me about the journey of the investment. We bought it to increase our capacity, do lights out machining, uh, and start to break into a little bit more production, repeat, repeat parts, and multiple parts. It's your first Matsura though. It's a bit of a it leap uh, into a, a new brand that, you know, when you advance into this sort of technology, uh, was it the right choice? I think so. We, we looked at other products. We felt that this was a good price, good footprint, you know, limited space. Yeah, I think it's a good product. Um, the, machi the machining that you're actually doing, you used to be predominantly aluminium machinists, but of course the parts on here are, are not aluminium. Is this machine being put through its paces across it the board? It is. I mean, this is titanium we're machining. Uh, we've machined CDV6. Um, we haven't had any problems. We tend to do the roughing during the day, finishing through the night. And how has the unmanned running affected your business? How, how much has it improved the company? I mean, it's certainly increased uh, output throughout the months, you know, because we can do lights out machining. So it has improved it, no doubt. Is there any concerns that come with that? For example, tool breakages, um, having to worry about coming in in the morning to, you know, scrapped components are those things and fears that you have had it's got tool breakage detection on it um, and when we get round to it it will email us to say it has stopped and for what reason so uh, and when you look at the control system here slightly different to the other machines that you're operating does that have an impact for you or is it easy to pick up or you know how, how does that work it was fairly easy to pick up everything's programmed offline so really it's just the the uh, loading and unloading and setting up of the machine that we need to And load. the efficiency of the machine. Some VMCs and five axis machines can be less than 50% efficient as a result of having to load them and change things internally. Uh, have you noticed a significant up, uplift in your efficiency on this machine, that spindle turning? I think we have, yes. I mean, it's a fairly quick machine to set up and the fact that you can roll, run multiple parts on the same, on the same run with multiple tools, different tools. Uh, so yeah, I think, I think we have. And Matsura as a supplier for you, Tony, been, uh, been everything that you would have hoped for? Yeah, they support us quite well, to be fair, yeah. Um, Installation yeah, went good. smooth? Yes, it did, yeah. It took a long time, five days, but there you go. Yeah, would you have expected that with a machine like this, though? Yes, I think there is, there is a lot involved in it, because uh, you're tying a pallet to a machine it's got to be level, it's got to be accurate. And what about having the 10 pallets, Tony? Do you, you've got every single component on here is the same. Is that, has that been your plan or do you put different jobs on here? No, it's definitely different parts on there as well. You know, sometimes op one, op two, or totally different parts. We have had a situation where we have four different jobs running out through the night. I really, um, but have you got enough tools to be able to do that? We, we have. We tend to sort of put, you know, uh, aluminium parts together, titanium parts together, and yes, we have got enough tools. It's only 90 tools, but it's enough. It's more than enough. Five axis simultaneous machining, are you doing that as well? We have done, yes. Right, okay, and, and how does it perform doing that? Very well indeed, I mean, finishes are pretty good, you know, um, yeah, it's, it's been good. Is it the most accurate machine in the shop? Yes, I'd say it is. I mean, other machines are pretty accurate as well, but yeah, I'd say it is accurate. First blue, could be a second blue, third blue. Could be, 